Hey guys and welcome to Rosa Scale. So you don't know this yet, but the multimedia articles are going to be the next big SEO craze. And we're already crushing it in our school community with different one page website setups and getting traffic. But today, since more and more LMs are going agentic, I wanted to try something new and test a few different tools and pair them against each other. So we'll be looking at my favorite GenSpark. We'll be looking at the deep agent of Abacus AI powered by ChatLM. We'll be looking at the latest Google SEO. And finally, and surprisingly, we'll be looking at SEO writing, which to my knowledge is the only AI writer right now that has these agentic capabilities. And they were gracious enough to offer some sample prompts in the article related to the super page, this feature here. So basically, we'll take a couple of prompts from here one of my own prompts and run them across four different models and we'll be able to see which one performs the best. So first one is my favorite one. If you go to my channel and hey, try to access playlists, there is a GenSpark playlist that contains eight videos. So what I wanted to do is to create a multimedia guide featuring all those videos, basically creating a comprehensive GenSpark guide. And the prompt is going to be very simple. Let's go to GenSpark to the super agent. This is the prompt, create a multimedia guide on GenSpark AI using and featuring these videos. And this is the playlist. And all these prompts are going to be in my free ChatGPT library. We'll do the same with Abacus, then Google AI Studio, making sure the grounded is on, and finally the super agent. So let's see what happens. Now Abacus is the only one that actually does ask follow-up questions, and I want to level the playing field, so I would just say you suggest on all of the above. So you can see that Abacus has started working, Janspark is already going through the videos, I am unable to directly access and process the content of the YouTube playlist. Okay, interesting. So guys, I really wanted to test Google AI Studio and some of the other tools were struggling with the playlist itself. So I basically reused the same prompt, but this time around I actually named the videos that are in the playlist. So we will be able to compare all of the tools. So beautiful. Jens Parker started going through the videos. Abacus is still thinking. And Google EA Studio has finished its task. And this is surprising. Okay. Let's see what it came up with. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Jens Park AI Multimedia Learning Guide. Video 1, Video 2, Video 3, Video 4. So this is a low effort, I would say. This edit nothing. Uh, basically put videos one after another with a very very short summary so this does very little and I would say AI Studio wasn't able to do a very good job. Genspark is hard at work, ChatLM for some reasons going to GitHub and other sources to get more information about the about Genspark. Hopefully it will look into my videos as well. As you're writing, it's hard at work at 21%. Let's keep waiting. So ChatLM installed something to be able to read the videos better. That's what I'm taking from this. It's okay, I don't care how it does it, as long as it does it. Genspark is ties the A Studio the quickest one. It's already doing its job with headings and subheadings. ChatLM is still thinking. And SEO writing is done, okay. Let's see what SEO writing did. Well, it's showing an amazing SEO optimization score, but let's look at the actual content. Genspark AI, the revolutionary AI agent system transforming information retrieval. What is Genspark? And this is what I don't like about uh, SEO writing nowadays, the quality of the images. So this is just, this has to be corrected because this is made up and with lots of uh, grammar mistakes. Doesn't handle text very well. I would assume this is a lower quality image model here. Genspark AI in action, video demonstrations, introduction to Genspark. Key highlights, that's not clickable, that's okay. Genspar, key highlights, download free guide, technical architecture. Okay, interesting. So we did a better job than uh, AI Studio. I wouldn't call it a guide. It's more of a collection of my videos with some complementary information. But for an AI writer, it's a good effort. And uh, the beauty of this is that it can be easily exported 
into WordPress bypassing the HTML code limitations. So I'm not rating this. Uh, it's definitely better than the AI Studio. I would love it to be more of a guide with a coherent flow. So it's kind of all over the place, but I could have prompted this better. It was a very generic, deliberately so, but a very generic uh, prompt that I gave it just to see what it can do. So are these clickable? So this right here. Yes, they are. Okay. So for an AI writer, it's pretty good. Okay, so Chatlam has finally started to view in the videos about Genspark. And Genspark is hard at work. Oh, it's done. Thank you, Genspark. So let's take a look. Genspark, the ultimate guide. Oh, I love the quick navigation sidebar on the left. I didn't prompt for that. Introduction to Genspark, key benefits, key features, one click article. Wow. And this is what I like. This is what I envisioned. So look at what it's doing. First off, it's placing the videos in a certain, according to a certain logic. So it treated this video as an introduction and was able to fetch key benefits from this video and key features. Look at that. Then it went to one click article creation and it described the whole process. Now the video about bypassing a detection. Method one, method two, amazing. Creating no code directories, niche selection, data collection, directory generation, WordPress implementation. Converting YouTube videos to multimedia pages, single video, curated video collections, implementation process. And finally, monetization strategies with Genspark. I forgot I had this video. Wow, it listed all these uh, methods that I'm talking about in the video. Directory, niche research, lead generation, customer research. Wow. And Fiverr as service opportunities. And even, so it not only did it read the video, uh, it went to the part where I am looking up those services on Fiverr. Oh my God. So this is amazing, guys. This is, oh wow. Genspark versus alternative tools. Abacus, Google AI Studio, Cloud 3.7. Oh, this is an amazing article. Like, like, Name another tool that does articles or multimedia pages like this. Just name another one. Hopefully Abacus will come close, but I'm definitely, definitely saving this and putting it on my website. Wow, I'm impressed. Hopefully you are too. Okay, so chat with them again is hard at work. It's the slowest one. It asked me a bunch of follow-up questions to which I responded to you decide. It then uh, went on installing some dependencies for it to be able to read the videos better, which I can appreciate. And for my testing, Abacus is probably the closest one to Genspark as far as quality and just the whole thinking process. But let's see. So it's writing all these sections. Introduction features, monetization, best practices, case studies, footer, read me. So Hopefully it's about to finish running ER and run build. I'm not sure what that means. Hopefully it means that it's uh, rendering the whole project. Okay, so this is interesting. And Abacus CI is rendering this itself. Uh, welcome to Genspark AI Guides. Introduction, multi-agent, sorry, full window mode. Oh, wow, I like the navigation. Amazing. Uh, Introduction to Genspark, multi-agent systems, Spark pages, super agent. Okay, this is the first video. Key features of Genspark, video tutorials. Okay. Well, monetization strategies. Well, this is interesting. So it took a slightly different approach to Genspark. It's much better than both EA Studio and the SEO writing. I like the design and if I were to prompt it better, so what I like here is the sidebar navigation, so I could prompt it to have that, but stylistically and as far as just the overall feel, I think uh, Abacus is very close. I still prefer Genspark, don't get me wrong, but this is as close to Genspark as you can get right now. So this too is much cheaper. Okay, interesting. Next prompt is going to be a local service page. So let's start a new super agent and we'll do the same deep research agent. And it does ask follow up questions. And my assumption is that if you answer those questions, if you take time to answer them, it's going to yield a better result than just saying up to you like I'm doing right now. But again, this is a shorter video. My 
intention here is to just uh, compare the raw outputs. Okay, so I had already published those pages with this is a roofing in Chicago. Um, I'll do an HTML so we can see it full screen. Oh, okay. Professional roofing in Chicago. Need roofing advice. Okay. Well, it's not bad. It's actually, it's pretty good. I think SEO writing struggles as far as the flow of the page, but all the necessary elements are here. So you get locations, you get FAQs, you have EAT signals, you have multiple CTAs, and what's great is that you can just edit those CTAs inside of the SEO writing. And again, you don't have to deal with HTML, you just publish this to WordPress. And this is a live map, as you can see. So I would say this is a pretty good effort. Again, from all the AI writers, this is the best effort, obviously. This is ready the google ai studio code let's take a look okay so i should have worded this differently create an html service page because i think it just gave me the content and uh, not the actual page let's rerun this and because it's still taking its time what about genspark i'd like to confirm that you want me to generate this as an html so it does ask follow-up questions from time to time not often okay surprisingly abacus is ahead of everyone Okay, so this is almost done. Genspark. Okay. What I like about Genspark is that you can run multiple super agents and have them here. Each of them will be running, as you can see right now. Oh, nice. So again, it's going through roofing experts. Uh, for some reason, I'm not sure. Okay. So Google AI Studio is done. Let's take a look. Oh, okay. So I would never <laughs> put up this page. Technically, it has all the elements. And again, the prompt could have been much, much more in-depth, uh, containing necessary SEO, optimization components, and structural components. But this is a low, low effort on Google AI Studio parts. And I was hoping for better results since this is a very powerful model. Okay, looks like everyone is still busy except for SEO writing. And this is about to get rendered. It's fixing some issues. Okay, so this is Genspark. And I realized just now that I didn't do the side by side, uh, which is unfortunate. So let's uh, fix this. And once chat LM is finished, we'll do a side, side by side and side by side comparison. So we'll do both. So while we wait for the chat LM to finish, let's again do a side by side comparison. We'll for Genspark, this was SEO writing. Videos complemented by text. I wouldn't call this a guide. Again, the flow is broken. This was a, an AI studio, so <laughs> not much to say. Uh, this was a pretty stunning looking abacus. So I like this a lot. It has tons of uh, interesting information. But this what took my heart, uh, I guess, uh, this is a Genspark AI, the ultimate guide. Look at the quick navigation bar, and uh, this is structured amazingly. This is very reader-friendly, this is very practical, and this is a complete resource. So this was our first try with all these tools. So let's continue where we left off. Our second experiment was roofing in Chicago. And again, I'm showing you back-to-back. This is SEO writing. I'm still not sure about the flow and it's kind of broken. But since I'm pretty sure you can fix all of these in WordPress, this is a good draft, I would say. Uh, then this one is AI Studio. Managed to pull up the map. But yeah, I would never put something like this uh, on a website, on a live, live website. Now, this one is Genspark, Chicago Roofing Experts, usable map. It managed to pull up the reviews, frequently asked questions. So everything is in order. It's not fantastic as far as visuals, but it's a fully working homepage. As the services section, the about us section, the testimonials, the FAQs, and the contact information. So this is a complete homepage. I can upload on a live website today and start getting traffic tomorrow. And this is Abacus. Again, nice navigation, all roofing services, and this is probably the first time that I'm liking this more than I'm liking Genspark. 
as the services page, why choose us, testimonials, location, contact, and it has light and dark themes and a clickable telephone number. So pretty amazing. So last one is going to be the top 10 washing machines. Again, this is a prompt from the SEO writing itself. Let's plug this in one by one. The only amendment I would make is I would specify that I want this to be an HTML because otherwise I'm not sure if it's going to do that by default. I'll, I'll do the same inside of Google AI Studio, GenSpark, and I will leave the original prompt for SEO writing. Okay, so the last test is done. This is SEO writing, top 10 washing machines in 2025. Nice review table. Then the editor's choice, which is LG AI Turbo. <laughs> I wonder if AI stands for artificial intelligence here. Then you have individual products with the rating, features, pros and cons, specifications, a custom CDA. Same here, here. So I would say this is a very good uh, review type of article. This is probably where the SEO writing's agent will shine. Before it would take like hours and hours, days maybe to compile something like this. This is very good. Now this one is Google AI Studio, as you can guess already. <laughs> Didn't even get the images, even though the ground it was on. Uh, this one is Abacus, top 10 washing machines, feature comparison table, editor's choice, key features, dimensions by now, images, some of them are cut off and different sizes, otherwise a decent job. And this one is Genspark, complete comparison table, editor's choice, pros and cons, key features, rating, specifications, user reviews. Uh, the images are Okay, I guess not the best, but this is the most complete review article out of them all. But here, surprisingly, I would put Genspark first and then SEO Writing second. So this is a very good article as well. And what's kind of funny is that the top choice in all of these four articles is a different model. So SEO Writing thinks that LG AI Turbo Wash is the top pick. Here is the Electrolux Elf. Evergus thinks it's the Samsung WM12 and Genspark is rooting for LG front load washer. <laughs> it's kind of strange and funny. But yeah, all in all, a pretty good experiment. I'm still convinced that Genspark is by far the best option here. The second best option is Abacus. Uh, I wouldn't even consider Google AI Studio for now. SEO writing is pretty decent. It did a pretty good job with uh, local pages and did a pretty good job with the review type of articles. And this is the only AI writer that does that. If you want 25% off, use my custom coupon code. But if you want to get into Genspark more, join my school community. It has amazing, amazing workflows on outranking, AI detection, multimedia articles, keyword research, multimedia pages, one-click directories, and so we have much, much more in store, like the Help for Concept Mastery, the Niche Hunter course, our custom tools, and the price is going to increase very soon. And you want to secure it until the big announcement that I will make on the 8th of June, which is going to be a, an amazingly useful new section inside of my community. So stay tuned.